sensual way in a photograph. And I'm a girl. I get it. <laughs> it's scary, you know? We gals are insecure about our looks, about where the photos might end up. But I have a solution for you. When most people think of boudoir photography or sexy photos, they think of scantily clad or even nude women. And that's great. But a woman or a man doesn't have to be in lingerie in a bed to create an intimate image. Let's talk about how to get a simple but sexy image that everyone can enjoy, both the image and the experience of the shoot itself. I did a photo shoot where I kept it simple but still sexy. Let's take a look. First, let's talk about the environment. A lot of boudoir photos are dimly lit with lots of shadow and a gal spread out on a bed, but you can broaden your horizons a bit. I pulled my bright orange couch here over and, you know, don't be afraid to move your furniture around to create the shot you want. Um, so I pulled it over and I placed it at an angle in front of my bed. You could do anything though. You could have your subject on the floor or in a chair in front of a window or maybe even just on the kitchen counter. Uh, I do find it helpful though for there to be a chair or a couch or even a windowsill for the subject to kind of work with. It helps with posing. And then for lighting. I use lots of light to create a bright, airy environment. Uh, dark, sultry images are great, but sunny images can be sexy too. And that type of environment where your subject isn't on a bed and the lights are on will make her more comfortable. Second, let's talk about wardrobe. A gal doesn't have to be in her underwear to be sexy. For my shoot, I went half covered with a long sleeved loose t-shirt, but I showed a little leg by wearing some boy shorts. I could have been wearing anything though, some cute PJs, some leggings and a tank top. You know, your subject, she can be completely covered up or mostly covered up or partly covered up, whatever it is, just make sure that she's comfortable. Her comfort will translate to a better photo and definitely more fun. I do have another video on dressing for your body. In it, I show photos that are kind of the next step, you know, for a woman who's a little more comfortable. They're a little darker, uh, I use the bed, but you can definitely get some ideas for wardrobe from that video. And you know, these techniques can be good for new models as well. I've had girls come into the studio wanting to add some photos that are kind of on the sexier side to their portfolio, but you know, they're intimidated by it. So doing a less overt sexy shoot like this can be a good addition to their portfolio and keep them comfortable. So VIPs, head over to snapcheck.com 